The Philippines, on Tuesday, said it completed the construction of a beaching ramp on Thitu Island in the South China Sea, allowing it to proceed with runway repairs. The development bolsters Manila's maritime defense position amid ramped-up efforts by Beijing to assert its expansive territorial claims in the South China Sea. The Department of National Defense said it held a formal turnover ceremony on the Manila-controlled island on Tuesday. We can now proceed with the other projects planned for Pag Asa Island, Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said in a statement, using the local name for Thitu. He said the completion of the ramp was, a necessary first step which will facilitate the transportation of essential construction equipment to the island. Manila has allocated 1.3 billion pesos $26 million, for construction and repair works on the island, including the concreting of the runway, that has been damaged by erosion, the statement said. The government began repairs in 2018, but works have been hampered partly by inclement weather, defense officials previously said, even as hundreds of Chinese fishing vessels were also reported to be circling the island on multiple occasions. The airstrip on Thitu Island was built in the 1970s and was the first runway in the Spratly Islands. It is officially 1.3 kilometers long, but the real figure is closer to 1.2 kilometers due to the collapse of the western end, making it difficult for takeoff and landing, according to US-based think tank Asia Maritime Transparency Initiative. Beijing recently bolstered its claims in the South China Sea by establishing two new districts and naming 80 features, triggering diplomatic protests from the Philippines and Vietnam. Manila, meanwhile, the last month suspended the termination of an agreement about visiting forces with the U.S. amid rising tensions in the South China Sea, making it easier for both allies to continue military drills. The termination of the VFA would not put an end to the U.S.-Philippines alliance, which is governed by the 1951 Mutual Defense Treaty. But the VFA, the latest iteration of which was initially ratified in 1999, plays a fundamental role in normal military activities within the confines of the alliance. Without a VFA, the temporary presence of U.S. forces in the Philippines and, importantly, the implementation of the 2014 Enhanced Defense Cooperation Act, or EDCA, would be impossible. The U.S.-Philippines alliance has seen its share of doldrums in the past. Most notably, after the Cold War, the Philippines in the early 1990s moved to end the permanent U.S. presence in the country. The 1999 VFA allowed the alliance to find a new footing. The geopolitics of the Philippines' February decision had much to do with ongoing U.S.-China tensions in the region. The abrogation decision came after more than three years of effort by the administration of Rodrigo Duterte to move Manila closer to Beijing. On that date, the Philippine government, led by President Rodrigo Duterte, gave formal notice to the United States that would abrogate the agreement, which governs the status of U.S. military forces in the Philippines. Runway Next With the completion of the beaching ramp and the sheltered port on Pag Asa, the government is now setting its sights on the repair of the old runway, which mirrors the neglected state of the Philippine-held islands and reefs in the West Philippine Sea. We can now improve further our facilities on Pag Asa, such as making the dirt runway into a concrete one and making the island a jumping board to the other eight islands that we possess, Lorenzana said. Pag Asa's 1.3-kilometer airstrip, called Renato Air Field, is grassy and unpaved, with eroded tips. Only 850 meters of it is currently usable, posing a challenge to pilots to land big military planes. 14 miles away from Pag is a Zamora Tsubi reef, which China has transformed into a sprawling military outpost with a 3km runway, 
hangars, radars, missile shelters, and weapons systems. It's just one of the seven massive Chinese human-made islands in the Spratlys. Philippine defense officials familiar with the planned rehabilitation of the runway said the project might be awarded in the next few months. The project, to be overseen by the Philippine Air Force, will cover the paving and restoration of the runway to its original length and the construction of a parking apron. Construction of the P-450 million sheltered port by Momsar Construction began in late 2018 and also faced setbacks due to erratic weather conditions, although on a lesser scale. The new seaport is a realization of a long-held dream of former two-term Kalayan Mayor Eugenio Bito Onan Jr., who had been vocal in the past about his wish for a harbor and had painstakingly searched for funds for it. But while the new infrastructures will remarkably change the way of life on Pag Asa, it would also help if the government boosted its military defenses in the area, said maritime expert Jay Batongbakal of the University of the Philippines Institute for Maritime Affairs and the Law of the Sea. The islands are small and could easily be taken by force or coercion. For the Philippines, it would simply mean catching up with China and other claimants, which have, over the years, invested far more in the security of the individual islands' installations than the Philippines, he said.